the sun welcomes a new day over the Orlando Wetlands Park. As the fog begins to break, the marsh begins to awaken for yet another day. The waiting birds begin to stir and move from the trees to marshy waters below. Whitebiss move in large numbers from their roosting areas where they spend all night resting and sleeping down to the waters below to find a meal. The sound of sandhill cranes can be heard for miles as they loudly welcome in another new day. Raccoons, deer, and other animals are found feeding in the wet shorelines of the marshes. Alligators, predatory and active, all night long settle as the sun breaks into morning. All of these incredible species are just part of the incredible Orlando Wetlands Park. You see, the Wetlands Park is actually a man-made wetlands that was created to remove excess nutrients from reclaimed wastewater. To better tell this story, we must first begin at the beginning, our homes. You see, each and every day, the average person in Central Florida uses and discards nearly 125 gallons of water. This water flows into sewer lines, which carries the sewage to a wastewater treatment plant. Iron Bridge, located in Oviedo, Florida, serves as a regional wastewater processing facility, accepting raw sewage from various municipalities. The city of Orlando is responsible for the plant and its processes of converting the sewage into safe, usable, reclaimed water. After the water has been through the treatment process, it is disinfected and pumped through a 16-mile line pipeline, where it is discharged into the world's first large-scale wetland treatment system, the Orlando Wetlands Park. Once a cattle pasture, the Orlando Wetlands Park was converted to a unique project which now provides improved water quality, improved wildlife habitat, and a place for humans to recreate and enjoy beautiful natural places. To better serve the public, a boardwalk has been created to view the influent area, which is the incoming water area of the wetlands. The wetland system was completed in July 1987 at a cost of $22 million. The wetlands park was designed as a final purification wetland to remove remaining nutrients from the water following the treatment process. A series of 17 different treatment cells, three flow pathways, and three wetland communities were created to strip excess nitrogen and phosphorus from the water. Water control structures within each of the 17 polishing cells aid in the management of the wetlands by allowing managers to dry down or flood the wetland impoundments. In order to provide the best nutrient removal and the best wildlife habitat possible, this innovative water reuse project created 400 acres of deep marsh community, 400 acres of mixed marsh community, and 400 acres of hardwood swamp community. Over 2 million aquatic plants and 200,000 hardwood trees were planted by hand throughout the 17 polishing cells to create the various communities. After spending approximately 30 days in the Orlando wetlands, the water is discharged much cleaner than when it came into the wetlands and even cleaner than the St. Johns River. In addition to providing excellent water quality, the Wetlands Park is home to numerous plants, animals, and feathered friends, such as this handsome osprey. Blue-eyed grass and coreopis are among some of the first spectacular wildflowers that bloom each year along the marshy edges of the park. Spider lilies bloom in a show-stopping manner. Millions of gallons of water flow through the wetland each day, providing a rich diversity of aquatic plants, such as this spatter dock plant. Along the wetland trails, ferns abound. As you explore this incredible project, keep your eyes and ears open, and there's no telling what you will stumble across. As evening approaches, the wildlife again becomes active. The deer begin to stir and venture out from their forest cover. 
The sun fades into blackness as another day has come and gone over the incredible wetlands project known as the Orlando Wetlands Park.